Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. Today, I'm taking you guys with me to Target. So, apparently, Stanley released a new cup Stanley X Starbucks and it is a pink 40 ounce handle cup and I don't know if this location is going to have it but we will take a peek when we go in. I saw online that most locations only got two cups in. It is 9.30 so Target has been open for over an hour so I don't know if they'll have it. I hope they do. Um, bigger locations got more cups i'm going to a location that's a little bit further away it's by my gym because i plan to go there after but let's go okay we are here there's already a lot of people here i am not really expecting them to have it but we'll take a look i usually am not one to get starbucks before the gym either i feel like it'll hurt my stomach but we'll see that is new and that is so cute they didn't have it they said they only got two stanley starbucks cups in and they were sold by 801 people were waiting outside there was a line outside it's crazy <laughs> but i got a brown sugar shaken a milk espresso and i got this cute little mini keychain i thought this was adorable so i at least got this since i couldn't get the cup i'm like a huge cup lover and i've been waiting for this cup but i would not wait outside of a target to get it and i also got two cake pops i got one for my mom because she loves bees <laughs> that is so cute so i'm also doing some mother's day shopping which look how adorable this mini hair straightener is for five dollars i feel like this would work good on like my mom's bangs and the color is super cute every time i come to target i love to look at their bathing suits they have really nice swimsuits and i like how you can get a different size top and a different size bottom because not everyone's the same on the top and bottom i have this swimsuit from here and i love it with this underwire and the ruffles it's so comfy and cute this is kind of cute too Look at this lace one. I love everything cheetah prints. I am a cheetah girl. I know people either love it or hate it, but I kind of like this. And I like the thick straps. I think I might get it. Target has such cute clothes. I love this dress. And then also, these shorts. I like how long they are because I feel like all my shorts have shrunk so much and they're so short. So I think I'm going to try those on as well. And look at the Memorial Day stuff. I actually kind of really like that. That is cute. Like with some jean shorts. I got a fitting room and we are going to try this stuff on. So I got this tennis skirt that I thought was super cute for like tennis or golf this summer. And then I got this in two sizes. I don't know. I feel like it might be cute just like open over a swimsuit for like 4th of July, Memorial Day. Thought this was very cute. And then this dress too. I love how flowy it is. And then the shorts and the black dress. Okay, here is the swimsuit. I really, really like it. I like how the top is like a thick strap. And I like how the bottoms are adjustable. I have my underwear on so it looks kind of weird but cute. Okay, next we have this dress. What do we think? It's a little dirty right here. The length is quite nice. I do like the length and it is very comfy. I feel like it even kind of looks like it's a beach cover up. Okay, now we have this dress. Hmm. Is the pattern maybe like a little too much? I think it's really cute, but I don't know if I like the pattern. These shorts fit so good. I love the length. Oh, they're so cute. They're really comfy, too. So they have, like, five buttons. I didn't button it all the way up, but they do fit. And then here is the sweater that says USA. That's so cute. I don't know if I should try on the bigger size or if I, like, kind of like this one. Because, obviously, these are high-waisted. But I feel like I kind of like it, like, a little bit tucked in like that. Okay, good thing I tried the dress on. I'm not really a fan of this dress. I just feel like it doesn't look too flattering on. And then... I don't know about this. I feel like it might not be my style. And I'm going to get the blue one, so... I don't know. It's, like, cute, but... I don't know. I can't decide. I think it might be a little too, like, colorful for my liking. This book is calling my name. 
I've always wanted to read a Colleen Hoover book. This one's really pretty. I just read the first page. I think I'm gonna get it and try and read a book. I definitely haven't read a book since like middle school. It's been a while. And even in high school, I feel like I didn't read the books. I would read like the summarized versions of each chapter. Lots of people I knew did that. I just wasn't a book reader. But the books were also extremely boring that we were reading, so maybe I'll like that one. I always like getting new games for my friends and family to play Glow in the Dark. Oh cool. This one looks funny on the back. Since when did they get so many goldfishes? I've never seen this flavor. Cheddar and sour cream flavor blast, which I love the flavor blast that I always get this kind. And look, they have Star Wars, Disney princesses, and Mickey Mouse. Oh my gosh, those are all so new. I think this is so pretty. So I wanna do like a big collage on my wall. And I feel like something big like this in the middle will help break up like square pictures. I don't know, I'm thinking of how my mom has one of her walls decorated and she has like a green wreath with pictures and it looks good. And I think this is really pretty. I love these body scrubs. They feel so good on your skin and they always come out with new scents. I've been wanting this coconut one. It looks so pretty too and it smells amazing. I love anything coconut for summer. So I think I'm gonna get a new one since it's gonna be shorts weather. I'm gonna have to start shaving my legs. <laughs> Got everything packed up and we're done. Okay guys, we are back home from Target and I just was doing some work on my laptop for about an hour and now I'm gonna take the dogs on a walk because they keep crying and they really wanna go. It's a beautiful day so I like to take them early in the morning because there's not too many people out walking because when there is, they go crazy. So I try and beat everyone out there but I got my fanny pack, I keep my phone in here and then poop bags. Fanny packs are so nice, like I just got this one and I've been taking it every time I go for a walk. So nice, because like lots of leggings don't have any pockets, but a fanny pack, it's like you're not even wearing one. Okay, it is almost one and I'm starving. All I had was a cake pop and a mini banana muffin that I made. So, I am going to make an egg and some toast. So I wanna really, so I've been, so I've been really excited to try this chili crunch stuff from Trader Joe's. So that's what we're gonna be making. So I'm gonna just put it in the egg. I'm going to season with the everyday seasoning from Trader Joe's. Yum, I'm so hungry. And then let's open this up and see what this is about. Mmm, that smells so good. So it's like an oil with chili flakes and garlic. I'm just gonna put it on the egg. I don't know how much to use because I don't know how spicy it is, but I'm in the mood for some spice today. So I guess I could have like put this in the pan and had it like cooking in it, but we put it on top. Okay, I'm gonna flip it. Mmm, that smells so good. Our toast is done, which if I had an avocado, I would put that on there, but I do not. Breakfast is done. That chili oil smells amazing. You can see it like on the egg a little bit. Okay, I'm so excited. I didn't get too much egg in that bite, but let's dip. Mmm, ooh, I will always be buying that and using that on my eggs now. Great flavor. Mmm. That's so good. I was so hungry. I needed to add some creamer to my coffee from Starbucks when I came home. It was just very strong. But I have it in my Stanley cup, so it's still like ice cold. Oh, and guess what? I never went to the gym. It was just such nice weather, and then I was in Target for a bit, so I just decided to come home, take the dogs on a long walk. I mean, when I go to the gym, I usually will just like run on the treadmill. I've been starting to run. The past three times, 
I like jog. I do like five and a half speed. So that is kind of like running. And I just run and watch like a YouTube video. And then when I get like too tired, I just speed walk and then I like keep swapping. But I took the dogs for a very long walk today. They're both <laughs> on the floor behind me. I don't know if you guys can see them, but this is so good. I love toast. I haven't had just a piece of toast in a while. Some white toast with butter. Dipping in the yolk. I've been having bagels a lot. So this is very tasty. Now I am just putting everything away that I got. I'm excited to read this. This is such a pretty cover. Got my new body scrub and then I got this game. Cards Against Humanity. I love playing games with my friends or family. Um, I've never owned this game. I've played it maybe a few times. Not this one though, but it looks fun. So I have played all the games that I have like already 15 times each. So I know like all the cards. So it's good to get some new ones. And then this cute little straightener. And then I also got this for my car. It's a utensil set. Or this is even good for a lunchbox. I just organized all my drawers on my TV stand. So here we have all of my games, Nintendo and Xbox. These are a ton of extra cables and my Switch. And here is speakers and controllers, this microphone that is very fun to play. <laughs> and then in here is all my games. So I have Tell Me Without Telling Me, this Crumble Cookies game. I have not played this yet, but I thought it looked so cute. Festive charades, buzzed blocks, our moments, bad choices, regular cards, the new one, and then this is like a charades too. And then there's just a timer and I kept this little puffle in here because he's just so cute. So now everything is so organized before these drawers were everywhere. Like some games were here, here, here. Everything was a mess. So now, nice and clean. I am now going through some of my clothes. I'm getting rid of all of those shorts. They are a size too small. Um, now I'm looking through leggings, which I have a lot of colorful ones. And I could tell you guys, I don't wear them that often. This pair I have had since like freshman year of high school. Should I get rid of it? I don't know if I really like the camo anymore, honestly. They still are an amazing quality but I just don't really think that's me anymore. Might as well free up some space. So I take these clothes to Plato's Closet. They usually buy things for like a couple dollars. Um, so if I turn in like a whole bin of clothes, I'll maybe get like $50 or sometimes more. I've got depending on how much I bring in. And then whatever they don't take, I just take to the thrift store and donate it. Um, I would sell stuff online, but because I know some of you have asked me to make a Depop before, but I don't know. It's hard selling clothes online because you might think something looks good and like new still, and then someone to someone else they could think it looks very worn. And the few times I did sell things online, I just it was like. There was this one shirt and it looked perfect. I probably wore it twice and I take really good care of my clothes. Um, and then the person complained to Etsy or whatever app it was and said that it looked super worn and then Etsy, or maybe it was Macari, then they paid them for it and they got it for free and then got like gave my mom a bad review. This was a while ago. This was back when I was maybe like freshman in high school, but... Hmm, maybe I don't like this red color. See, but like it could be good for like 4th of July or something like that. Ugh. They're just Lululemon leggings, so they are nice leggings. I'm just trying to like clean out a little bit, you know. These I do not really like. These are athlete. The material, I can just tell by the material of some of these that I'm not going to like it. These are very blue. These I actually got sent to me. Um, I don't even know if these are my size. These look too small. Size 4. I don't know. 
These are so blue. See, I try and think like, is this good for any holiday? Because like for St. Patty's, me and my friends got a party bus and we went out and wore like all green. One of my friends had like green leggings on and everything, just like all green. Blue. I don't know what I could really wear blue for other than like 4th of July, but this is like a very bright blue. This would be pretty if I was like a figure skater. Next, I'm going to go through my pajama bins. So here's all my pajama bottoms, which that's too many. That is just too many. These fuzzy ones are so comfy. I do like these. These ones are very comfy as well. They're so short though, but I do like wearing shorts. If anything, maybe I'll get rid of these. I've had these for a long, long time. And I feel like I usually just wear sweatpants rather than pajama pants. So, I will get rid of these. These are still in good shape, too. I think they're from American Eagle. Oh, Airy. They're from Airy. Those are actually kind of cute. I don't know. Do I get rid of those? We'll put those in a maybe pile. These are so, so short. We are going to donate those. Those are Victoria's Secret. These are nice sweatpants. Those I actually want to put in my sweatpants a drawer, not my pajama drawer. Got these like little red. <laughs> these are super cute, but like at that point, don't even wear shorts. <laughs> you know, they're like so small. Same with these. But hey, these might be good shorts for a younger girl. So, maybe not those red ones, but... They're definitely short shorts. These are so cute too. But again, like things just shrink over time. These might still fit me. They're cute, but I'm gonna get rid of those too. These look bigger. Those look like a good size. I love these pants. These are my Christmas pink lily pants. I love those. Definitely keeping those. What are these? Just regular sweatpants. These are from Forever 21. Those are nice sweatpants. We're going to keep those. Some more Christmas PJ shorts. Again from... Oh wait, these aren't Pink Lily. Those are cute. We're keeping those. Whoa. So small. Donate. These I have a matching top with. So I'm going to keep those. These I love. I got these last Valentine's Day. They're reversible. And I have a matching top. And then here's the the pants to those shorts. These I just I'm kind of over it. I'm gonna get rid of those. These shorts are Nike. Those are nice. We'll keep those. And then these are nice American Abercrombie. These are some soft shorts. Yeah, these are good. Oh, these I totally forgot about these. These are so soft. They're a little bit too small though, but see, the things get buried in this little bin. Oh, these are so cute, but I think they're too small. Yeah, they're too small. My whole butt will be out. And I'm keeping like a lot of these shorts, but I do tend to wear sweatpants more at night because I'm cold. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for these. Those are my biker shorts. Those need to go in my gym clothes. These are like little... Those are actually kind of cozy. They're like boxer type underwear. I'm going to keep those. These are from Forever 21. I'm going to donate those. They look a little small. Ooh, these look comfy. Keeping those. Simple little black shorts. And last but not least... These are Kendall and Kylie biker shorts. I used to wear these all the time in high school. Let's see. Which, to be honest, I don't really wear biker shorts too much anymore. Um, but I will keep those in my gym pile just because I don't think I have another black pair. Perfect. Look how organized my pajama pants drawers are now. Pajama shorts. And we will donate all of these. Okay, now we're going to go through the pajama tops. Let's see what's in here now. Am I donating the matching shorts to these? Oh. 
I don't think so, but I just, the dogs are going crazy. I just don't really see myself wearing that. Like, I am just a hoodie girl, like sweatshirt. Are you guys okay? <laughs> My gosh. Okay, we have this blue tank. I used to love these a couple summers ago. I love the little skinny straps and the lace back. I just feel like it might be a little small on me now, so we're gonna donate that. Here's a t-shirt. To be honest, I don't really want this. I'm going to donate. Oh gosh, the light turned off. This shirt is so cute. Big smiley face. That really should not be in my pajama drawer. And then we just have like some YouTube merch in here. So this is full send. I thought it was funny. Um, this little black tank with the cheetah on it. Mm, I think I'm over that. We're going to donate. Uh oh, this is my dad merch. Yeah, it's inside out. So cute. I love the coloring on this one. Love it. So wrinkly. I had it like all inside out and everything. That's cute, but we're going to get rid of it. There's that matching little jacket I was talking about that is so cute for Valentine's Day. Um, what is this little brown shirt? <laughs> Me oh my. <laughs> Where's the other half of that shirt? See, that's what's hard about online shopping because lots of the stuff is from online shopping and then it comes like way more crops than expected and then I end up just not feeling comfortable in it. Depends on the outfit, obviously, but... This I never even got to return because I don't live by a Nike store. Since the tag is still on it, on it, I wonder if I could return it. I just ended up not liking it and like you couldn't wear a bra with it because it was like see-through. I wonder if I could return this. The Nike store is up by Urban Outfitters, so like an hour away, which I always don't mind going up that way because Trader Joe's is over there too, so I do head that way. I wonder if I could try and return this and get store credit or something. We have this Valentine's Day shirt that says love. I don't really like that. Here is this top. Donate. Jeez, how many things in this pattern? Donate <laughs> the longer version. This is a very cute gray tank. We're keeping that. Donate. Ooh, what's this? This is cute. We're keeping that. We have this pink lily Christmas shirt. That is so cute. I love like the holiday pajamas. Those are my favorite. You already know what's up. This is my dad's shirt. I got him that for his birthday. Now it's mine, which is so sad. This Calvin Klein sweater. I'm gonna donate. Dave Chappelle again. This is the concert or the show I went with to my dad. Glad I ended up getting a shirt. Okay, and now my PJ t-shirt bin is like empty, but that's perfect. And look at that. We have a bag full. I'm going to put it in my trunk, and next time I pass the store, I'm going to take the stuff in to donate. Mochi loves playing ball. She will play non-stop her she doesn't really like to play ball i don't think i've really ever got her really to fetch a toy mochi loves it though but she's like non-stop her she just likes to watch her isn't that right her she you like to just watch and sunbathe while you like to play ball non-stop but then you don't give me the ball she needs to learn how to drop it <laughs> Look how excited her mouth is. <laughs> so for the dogs, I froze some turkey broth into ice cubes for little treats. And how cute is this ice cube mold? They're little Frenchies. I put it in my storefront, but I'm going to give them both one as like a little treat because it's so warm out. Who wants a little Frenchie? 
Here you go, Hershey. It's turkey broth. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, turkey broth. Mochi, don't steal it. No. Here you go, Hershey. I have to be Hershey's bodyguard. Mochi is a hog. Well guys, I'm going to cut the video off here. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you all in the next. Bye guys.